Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash. Also, as well, uh, double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day, that is continually feeding the fly through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And also, as well, Shalom to the whole elect that's continually laboring his work and also labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, in truth, and sincerity, and also in all charity. All right. And the uh, topic of this video is going to be entitled, The Elect Are Waking. We're at the end. Okay. Now, of course, if the Spirit has the word, I titled this video in a different way. You know, of course, we're going to change the title. But, um, you know, pursuing on to uh, the title I just mentioned, you know, The Elect of the Nation of Israel, all right, which are the, the chosen uh, the nation of Israel, okay, which uh, elect being that that small number amongst the nation of Israel, which is accounted as the sand of the sea. You know, uh, as you can see, you know the the elect are waking up in in rapid numbers. You know, and Esau Edom, which is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, has witnessed this. All right. And, you know, and don't be surprised when you start to see things move even even faster. OK, but in regards to the elect, you know, the reason that you see the elect waking up is because indeed we're at the end, you know. And as this happens or this takes place, you know, uh, even more of prophecy is being fulfilled. OK. Because the scriptures tell you that when the elect have awoken once again or being gathered, then the end is going to commence. You know, the, the, the destruction is going to commence. All right. And where you see that, all right, is in the book of uh, Revelations, right? Just like you. It's uh, Revelations uh, chapter 7. Okay. And, um, it starts at verse one from the top. All right. And um, like I said, you know, th this it goes to show you that we are indeed witnessing the final seconds of this current kingdom that you see, which is uh, Babylon the Great. All right. Which is this place, America. OK. And that decline that America has been on is going to further increase. All right. And this is all in the design of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. All right. He wants to see this place destroyed. So, of course, you're going to see a rapid, uh, uh, a rapid amount of, of the men of the Lord that are waking up. Okay. Because we're in that time. All right. Uh, Revelation chapter 7 is at verse 1. It says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth hole in the four winds of the earth right and that what's that talking about that's talking about the destruction all right so those four winds represent uh um, the destruction was going to uh, come upon not only this place right which is babylon the great which is uh the lord's main target but it's also going to spread towards other parts of the world as well okay so read on right it says, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the, on the sea, nor any tree. Right. And, and that wind as well uh, represents that thermonuclear wind. OK. That's what that's what that wind, you know, because uh, the scriptures speak about the destroying wind. All right. Because that wind. All right. That's that's that one thousand plus degree heat. That's gonna come with that, man. All right. So again, those four winds, all right, represents the destruction, right? Uh, verse two, and it says, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, right? And that's why scriptures speak about our Lord, you know, arising from the east. All right. But it says here, it says another angel ascended from the east, 
having the seal of the living power, right? And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, right? And, um, let's see, slide here. Okay, yeah, I was wanting to uh, read that verse over, but I'm reading again. It says, uh, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, right? Verse three, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads, right? Okay, and what is, what is that seal that's given to the men of the Lord? All right, that's given to the chosen, all right? It's this truth, all right? That's, that's, that's the seal, okay? That's our seal and that's our mark of exemption pursuant to uh, Ezekiel, uh, the ninth chapter, okay? This is what, uh, this is how the Lord is separating his people from the rest of the world. Okay? And the Lord has made his men holy, all right? And when I say holy, you know, when you go into the word holy, uh, that word means uh, to be separate. Okay? So this seal is, is, is a seal that's showing you who belongs to the Lord. You know, who, who is the Lord's possession? Okay? So reading on, uh, I'm going to start from the top of verse 3 again. It says, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All right? That's all the tribes of the children of Israel. All right? From Judah all the way down to Issachar. Okay? Which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans? All right? That's who the people of the Lord are. Those are the Israelites. Those are the 12 tribes. Okay? And out of those 12 tribes are going to come the 144,000. All right? Which is the governing body. Okay? And if you read through the rest of the, uh, the chapter... Or this, uh, the next few verses is going to tell you how many is going to come out of each tribe, which uh, out of each tribe is going to come uh, 12,000. All right. So I'll move on from there. Uh, let me grab book of Matthew chapter 24. Uh, Matthew chapter 24. And uh, <clears throat> start of verse 30. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tri uh, tribes of the earth mourn. Okay, and they shall see this, the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. All right, so this is talking about the return of our Lord. Okay, in which also as well with what you're seeing or, or uh, in this time that we're living in today, you know, we are ever so closer to the return of Yahweh Shai. All right. So again, it says, uh, and this shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, right? And uh, the Lord's going to come back in the fashion in which he left, all right? And the way that he left, right? Actually, you know what? Let me uh, go back. I'll show you the book of Acts, the second chapter, if I'm mistaken. The first and the second chapter. Acts uh, chapter 1 and uh, verse 8 it says but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth alright isn't that happening now alright you, now you see the men of the Lord on the uttermost part of the earth which is here right because during that time they were over in um, the Eastern world, okay? In which, uh, you know, with the scholars called the Mediterranean or the, uh, the Fertile Crescent, okay? 
but now we're here on the uttermost part of the earth. We are all the way here on the other side of the world. We're on the we're here in the west now. All right. But it says we're going to be witnesses unto him in Judea, Samaria. Right. That's when uh, you had uh, the men that were the followers of Yahweh Shai. All right. The disciples. Okay. And the men that believe. All right. But now we're in the uttermost part of the earth. So those same men. All right. That were witnesses of Yahweh Shai. Okay, in his, in his time when he was in the flesh, guess what? They're here today to stand testament to the witness of Yahweh Shah. All right. So, um, verse nine it says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received them out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, right, he was beamed up. All right. The Lord was taken up into a chariot, man. All right, in which these people call uh, so-called UFOs, man. Okay, and yes, the Bible does speak about so-called UFOs. All right, which are the chariots of the Lord. All right, you know, the Lord's will. Got to get into that more often. All right, the chariots, you know, have been appearing, you know, daily. It's, it's a it's a daily uh, thing that you see, you see chariots now. All right, it's no longer. You know, and off somewhere, you know, in uh, some undisclosed location. No, these these chairs are making themselves known to the people that are here in America, all right, in other, in other parts of the world. Okay? But since when he had spoken these things, uh, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him. All right? And, that, and, and again, that cloud, all right, because the, the scriptures use buzzwords, all right? Because, you know, back, back in that time, they had a limited vocabulary. Okay? So, what he was seeing... Or what the the, uh, the disciples were seeing, it, they compared it to a cloud, okay? But it was a chariot, all right? Uh, verse 10, it says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, okay? Which said, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven, all right? So it's saying, Why are you looking up, up here like, like you're astonished, you know? It says, uh, the same Yahweh Shai, which is taken from up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. All right. And as he was beamed up into the chariot, all right, guess what? He's going to come back in like manner. All right. That's why I read in the book of Matthew, right? Matthew 24 chapter. It says verse 30 it says and then shall appear the son uh, sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the trials of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven okay like we just read with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet here's the point uh, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other all right so the Lord is sending forth those angels, all right, to gather together his elect from the four winds, all right, from every part of the world that we're scattered, okay? Because to this very day, we are scattered. That's why uh, the scriptures uh, spoke on us being scattered as being one of the curses and also as well unto us confusion of face, all right? Um. Uh, Okay, yeah, so reading on, you know, I'm going to end it off on this. It says, uh, and now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. Okay. So he's using the, uh, the, the, the example of a fig tree, right? Or uh, the parable of a fig tree. When the branch is tender and put out leaves, you know that it, that lets you know that the summer is near. All right. When everything starts to live again. All right. And that's what you're seeing right now. All right. You're seeing you're seeing life being brought back into this, this great world, man. All right. You know, I'll, I'll say it like that. All right. You know, life has returned. OK. Because through the rulership of this man, which is the so-called white man, which again is Esau Edom, you know, death uh, proceeded. All right. Death reigned in this time and, and really death was at his pinnacle or death is at his pinnacle since he's in rulership all right because you know through our transgressions you know death was uh 
was distributed towards the nation of Israel, you know, and then this, and then in this time, in this place, right, Babylon the Great is amplified, all right. But now the Lord is making that transition with us from death to life, okay, from wickedness to righteousness, all right. So you know summer is not right. Verse thirty three. So likewise, ye when ye shall see all these things, know that it's near even at the doors. Okay. So and guess what? One of the things that we're seeing is men of the Lord that are being brought back into uh, the good graces of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, going back into the scriptures, going back into into our heritage. All right. And 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 and, and occupying ourselves with prophecy. All right. Occupying ourselves with the truth. All right. So, yeah. So, again, you know, this is, you know, what you're seeing today, you know, it, it's, you know, it, 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 it lets you know that we are also very close to the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the destruction of, the, of this current wicked world, man. All right. Because the elect are still being gathered, are still being awoken. And guess what? Characters like vocab, um, you know, these other upstarts, you know, um, rap the news, which he's gone. All right. <laughs> and then you have, uh, you have others, you know, I can't name on top of my head, but, uh, which vocab Malone's is the main scoffer, man, you know, but, you know, very soon, you know, it, it, even at that time, you know, there's going to be nothing they can do. It's, it, to this very time of the day, as I'm speaking, there's, no, there's absolutely nothing they can do. All right? You know, you can't stop what Yahweh Bashmiel Shai is set in motion. All right? That's a good, <laughs> that's a good title for a video, man. All right? But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out on that note. And uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, you know hopefully you were edified with this video. Uh, Lord's will, this was, uh, this was uh, fruitful, fed you to the full. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem El Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone every world to this day. Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect, continuing to labor in this work, and um, also uh, labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure, in faith, in truth and sincerity, and all charity. And with that, we'll go to Shalom.